this is a rectangle the length of this rectangle is 120 centimeter and the width of this rectangle is 80 centimeter there is a small rectangle within this larger one the small rectangle area is 4784 centimeter square here is the goal there is two rectangle the larger rectangle length is 120 centimeter and width is 80 centimeter the smaller rectangle within this larger one but we do not know the length of this smaller rectangle and width of this uh, smaller rectangle but we only know the surface area of the smaller rectangle based on these three information how can we calculate this distance or that distance we assume this distance and that distance they are same how can you calculate that i will solve this problem so simple way so stick with me and let's see how can i solve and find out this length and that length simple way let us consider um, the length from here to here the length of the small rectangle is um, let's say x and this width of this small uh, rectangle from here to here is let's say y and this distance we assume anything let's say this is a from this to that this x multiplied by y that means length and width x multiplied by y which is equals to this surface area 4 7 8 4 centimeter square this is a so that one is also a because they have the same distance i can write here a plus x plus again a which is equals to this total length 120 right 120 that means we can rewrite this x is equal to 120 minus a plus a to a uh, let's keep it as a equation number one again i can say here this is a and that is a because they are the same distance so here a plus this distance which is equals to y y plus that distance is a so this plus that and that which is equals to 80 centimeter simply we can say y is equal to 80 minus 2a this is equation number one where i can find this value of x and this is equation number let's say two where i can find y i can substitute this x and y by using this value and that value so x and y become 120 minus 2a bracket multiplied by y is equal to 80 minus 2a which is equal to 4 7 8 4 now this equation become simpler than before 120 multiplied by 80 is 9600 minus 120 times 2 means uh, uh, 240 a minus this 2 times 80 is equal to 160 and then a minus minus is plus 2 times 2 is 4 a square is equal to 4 7 8 4 4 a square minus 240 minus 160 is equal to 400 a plus 9 6 double zero and this right hand side become to left hand side is minus 4 7 8 4 is equal to 0 if we simplify this equation it become 4 a square minus 400 a plus um, 4 9 6 double zero minus 4 7 8 4 is um, 4 8 1 6 is equal to 0 we can we can divide at this left hand side by 4 and the simplified version of this equation become a square minus 100 a plus 1 2 0 4 which is equal to 0 this is quadratic equation there is two parameters in quadratic equation which is p q this p is minus 100 and then this q is 1204 there will be two possible solution of this quadratic equation which is a one solution and then 
solution number two, which is equals to uh, minus p over two plus minus square root of p over two whole square and then minus q. This is the general equation of a quadratic equation. So I can substitute this p by minus 100 minus and then p is minus 100 over 2 plus minus square root p is minus 100 and then 2 whole square minus q is 1204 am i right now the uh, equation become more simpler minus minus plus and then 100 divided by 2 is 50 plus minus um, this 100 divided by 2 is 50 and then minus 50 is square then so minus and square this case plus and 50 square means um, 2500 minus 1204 and total overall square root so 50 plus minus 2500 minus 1204 is 1296 you can use the calculator and square root of 1296 is equal to um, 50 plus minus square root of 1296 is i think 36 so 50 plus 96 another solution is 50 minus 96 so solution number one first solution is 50 plus 36 which is equal to 86 a is 86 or a is 50 minus 36 which is equal to 14 a could be 86 or a could be 14 look at here in our graph this total length width of this larger rectangle is 80 so smaller rectangle this width will be less than 80 this is not valid that means a is equals to 14 so which is equals to this one this one is equals to 14 a is 14 centimeter so if i give you a homework tell me what's the surface area of this part of this rectangle it's so simple i can give you hints you can consider the surface area of this rectangle larger rectangle and you can sur uh, consider the surface area of this smaller rectangle and by using your uh, brain you can just find this area of the rectangle this is the simple way i can say well if you know the surface area of this area please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next time bye bye